Hi guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Hannah. If you guys are seeing me for the first time, I am a mama of two. I have an almost two year old named Elena and then I also have a three and a half month old named Eileen. and welcome to my kitchen today. So today is going to be the very first video in a brand new series that I'm starting here on my channel and that is all about my newborn essentials and favorite products that I have used with both of my girls. I know that whenever I was pregnant, I always enjoyed watching newborn essentials videos, especially when I was pregnant with my first. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what I needed. So I remember just scrolling, sitting in my bed, um, eating snacks, and just binge watching a ton of newborn essentials videos. Um, and I loved it. That's how I built my registry. That is how I decided what I wanted to try for baby. So today we're going to be talking all about my top newborn essentials for feeding. Now, I am not going to be very specific to breastfeeding or formula feeding. We've done a little bit of both here in this household. I did breastfeed my babies for a very small amount of time for both girls. These products have been tried and true, ones that never fail us ever, the ones that we feel like we cannot live a day without. And I really wanted to take a moment and share these things with you guys in detail, why we love them, where you can get them, all of the above. So go ahead and click that subscribe button if you guys are interested in sticking around so that you can see the rest of the essentials videos that I will be uploading very, very soon. Okay, so the very first essential that I would categorize into the feeding category, um, that would definitely be something that you can use for breastfeeding, formula feeding, or basically for any baby, and that is going to be burp cloths. Guys, you need so many burp cloths, especially in the first few months of your baby's life. The spit up is real. Feeding with a newborn is so incredibly messy. It's ridiculous. Eileen spits up so much. And if your baby happens to have reflux, having a ton of burp cloths on hand is super, super necessary. I would go as far as to say that 20, 25, 30 burp cloths is enough to have. And I know that that sounds like a lot of burp cloths and it is, and it may seem excessive, but guys, if you have a baby that spits up at every feeding, and especially when they're a newborn, you're feeding them constantly, you're going to have a lot of spit up. A lot of spit up happens. So the brand that I love to buy burp cloths from is from Copper Pearl. I specifically love Copper Pearl because their brand of burp cloths are so thick. They're so absorbent and it's a really huge bonus that they have cute prints. So um, this is what the Copper Pearl burp cloths look like. They're super pretty, super cute, but look how large and absorbent these things are. They're super thick. So I'll show you guys what it kind of looks like over my shoulder. Guys, this is huge. I feel like this is such a large burp cloth. And when you're putting your baby up to burp, there is not going to be a ton of spit up that gets all over your clothes because you have such a large area that is covered and it's not just going to go everywhere. And again, they're cute. I love them. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a few of the cute prints that I love. I love the Thera print. I also love their solids. This one is a really pretty one. They also have like a really pretty plum color, um, a mustard color. I want to say these came together. The Thera one came with like a really pretty lavender. They have cute florals and also how cute are the flamingos? So they have a lot of cute prints, especially for boys as well too. Another essential that you guys need is also from Copper Pearl and it is their bandana bibs. They come in a pack, I think of four on their website for I think around the same price as the burp cloth. I think it's around like $21, something like that. But it is so necessary to have good bibs. And even if you don't get them from Copper Pearl, just make sure that you have some on hand and you have plenty of them. I would say having 10 to 15 bibs is a really great investment to make sure that you're keeping your baby's clothes clean and free of spit up and so it doesn't ruin an outfit. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a few of the prints that I do love from Copper Pearl. Um, this one is a really cute one that they have. Of course, they have the flamingos and some really cute stripes. And we did have one with a unicorn on it and a few other ones, but they got ruined. Okay, so the next essential item is something that I honestly don't think I could have lived without within the first, like I would say month or two of my baby's life. And that is a feeding support pillow. Guys, a feeding support pillow is so important. Whether you guys order one from the same place that I got mine or not, it's something that's extremely helpful for holding your baby up when you are feeding them, especially if you guys are breastfeeding. Um, it helps them to keep their latch and it helps them not to completely fall off. It also helps your arms to not get so exhausted. So I'll show you guys the one that I have. So the one that I ended up going with with Elena was the Boppy. I'll go ahead and insert a picture right here of the exact one that I have. It had the unicorns on it and that one was okay. I just didn't feel like it had as much 
um, give to it. I didn't feel like I could maneuver it the way I wanted to. It wasn't the most comfortable for breastfeeding either. Um, and I just never felt like it was truly that supportive. So this go around, I had found out about the Snuggle Me Organic Lounger, which I love. So the shape of it is kind of like a moon. I love how cute it is. I love the color. It has so many cute colorway options that you guys can choose from. But what I love most about this is how wide this opening is so that whenever you are putting it around your waist for you to feed and hold baby on if you're going to hold them like this to feed them it's so comfortable and I don't feel like it's just constricting you I felt like the boppy was definitely more constricting than this one so I love this one I feel like it's so comfortable and if you have a husband who is really particular about a pillow too he will really like this one as well my husband could not live without this thing one of the other ways that we use this product is we actually held it like this. And if you have a little tiny baby, seven pound baby sleeping upright on your chest, whenever you're sitting in the rocker, this will support their butt so that you can sit there with the remote or you can sit there with your coffee or whatever you want to do. And this will hold and prop their booty up so you don't have to physically hold them with your arm. So this was great for feeding, but not only that, it was great to just support them while they're napping away on your chest. So let's talk bottles. So I feel like there are so many bottles on the market, especially when you are going through and building your registry. It can be really overwhelming to determine which bottle is going to be best for your baby. And this is just the type of bottle that worked for us. Us. Of course, every baby is so different. You may need to try to get a few different ones to see what your baby likes, or maybe start out with one and see if they'll take it and then go from there. But the one I would go ahead and start with, if you guys have not purchased any bottles yet, or if you're looking for a brand new bottle, um, it's going to be the Avent Natural Bottle. And this is what the nipple of the bottle looks like. It kind of looks like a little flower petal. This is the one we just love because I feel like it's very, very natural for the baby to use, especially if you are going between breastfeeding and bottle feeding. We have loved it. It has really helped with gas as well. So they do have a lot of really cute colors. Um, they do have it in pink. Um, they have it obviously in the clear, but we do have purple and turquoise and some other fun colors as well. If you like to get colors for your bottle, they do sell them in sets at Target. They sell them on Amazon. Bye bye, baby. I will go ahead and link those below as well. So if you're on the market for a new bottle, go ahead and try the Avent Natural Bottle or go ahead and add it to your registry. I don't think you'll be disappointed. However, of course, every baby's different. So make sure you stock up on a few other brands um, just so that your baby has some options. Okay, so with bottles comes bottle warming. If your baby is anything like mine, especially both of my girls in the very beginning, they really preferred to have warm bottles. They would actually refuse to take cold bottles. And I know there are a lot of babies that do refuse cold bottles. And so a bottle warmer, if you are bottle feeding, or even if you're heating up breast milk, is so important to have a good one. And what I mean by good one is one that heats it up to the perfect temperature. It's easy to use and it's extremely fast to use. Because if you have a crying baby who has zero patience for getting the milk when they want it, you're going to want to have something on hand that is really, really nice to use. It's something that's going to get it to them extremely fast. So I will say that the one that we did use with my daughter Elena at the beginning was the Munchkin one. I'll go ahead and insert a picture right here for you guys so that you can see what it looks like. Um, I just did not prefer this one because I always overheated the milk. And while I have a screaming baby waiting for it to warm up, then I get it and it's scalding hot and I have to wait on it to cool off. It's just not cool. I hated that thing and my husband hated that thing. And I know there are some people that love it. So of course, try it if you want to. I'm not telling you, you shouldn't. Um, but that was just not the one that we preferred. I just felt like it made it too hot and it took way too long. So the one that we actually ended up going with was the Baby Brezza Bottle Warmer. You guys, I love this thing. Like I just love it so much. It's perfect. Um, I've never had a bottle that comes out too hot ever. Also, I love this thing because it is so incredibly easy to use. All you have to do is push the power button. You fill up the water to the water basin line and then you click the room temperature even if you got the bottle out of the fridge or if you got it from like water in your refrigerator for formula um, I just use the room temperature button you press it as many times as you can to get to the amount of ounces that you are using and then you just hit quick warm and you guys I promise it gets the bottle the most perfect temperature every single time and it doesn't take very long to do it but that is a must-have bottle warmer I know it also does breast milk and can thaw out breast milk as well so this next product is pretty much specifically for formula feeding but guys it's from baby Brezza and it's also absolutely incredible I think if you are are one of those people that really hates to warm up a bottle, especially if it's cold and you really don't have the time. I love this guy. This thing is so cool. So basically what it is, is a water dispenser that dispenses out warm or hot water for your baby bottles pretty much 24 hours of the day. So all you do is you just fill up the top to the maximum line and you plug it in 
you hit this little temperature button here and you just tap it until you get it to the yellow. That's typically what I would use to get it to like a room temperature, like a warm setting and it will blink. And then once it stops blinking, you know that the water is warm on the inside. And guys, all you have to do is just push this little lever and water dispenses out into your bottle. And then you can just add the powder. It is so, so incredibly easy. And it makes making a perfectly warm bottle like happen within seconds. It's definitely something to look into if you know that you will be formula feeding or if you are currently formula feeding and you are tired of warming up bottles. If your baby thinks like the fridge water is too cold or if the bottle warmer is just taking too long or if you just want something a little more convenient, to be honest, I love it so much because it just dispenses the warm water for you and you're done. One item that I cannot forget to mention to you guys is something that we have had on hand with both girls and has been something that we cannot live without. Um, and it's actually more like a medical item or like a medicine type item. And that is gas drops or Mylocon drops. Guys, these are such a lifesaver when you have a newborn. Guys, the first three months of your baby's life, you're going to have probably a gassy baby. Their tummies are just not very mature. They're still learning how to digest food and they're going to have a lot of gas, especially after feedings. Um, and that will in turn make the next feeding more difficult. It makes it harder for them to sleep. So we always use the infant Mylocon drops. You want to stock up on this stuff. Always have an extra box or two on hand. That way you're not going to be dealing with a baby who's super gassy and fussy and refusing to eat because their tummy hurts. Okay. So the next two products, are specifically for breastfeeding and I'm not going to talk about them for a super long time because like I said I don't have a ton of experience with breastfeeding because I didn't do it for very long but the two things that I felt like were super essential for breastfeeding um, were a pump and then also breast milk storage bags these were kind of like the two things that I absolutely had to have in order to provide my baby the milk and then also be able to save and store it so with my first daughter Elena I used the spectra pump it was the blue one I'll go ahead and insert a picture right here so you guys can see which one I'm talking about it's the one that that could be taken off the charger and used. Um, that way you're not completely stuck to a wall. But I ended up liking that one. But whenever having Eile this time around and having a toddler, an almost two-year-old running around my house, I did not want to be tied to a chair or tied somewhere pumping. Um, instead, I wanted something that was going to be a little bit more hands-free. That way I can pump, but also be tending to both of my kids at the same time without being just stuck in one spot. So I did end up splurging and getting the LV breast pump. And guys, this thing was so nice to use. And honestly, I think it's worth the money. If you don't know what the LB breast pump is, it's basically a silent breast pump that you can wear inside of your bra and pump without having to be tied to a chair. It's something you can do while you're walking around. You can do the dishes, you can clean your house, you can do whatever you want to do. And honestly, you really can't even tell that it's there. You really can't even hear it. It's pretty quiet. So I love this thing. Um, I'll show you guys what the pump looks like. I did just get the single pump and this is what it looks like. You just insert it into your bra. This little bottom container comes out and you're able to dump the milk and pour it into the next item that I'm going to be showing you guys. If you guys want a more in-depth review on the LV, I'll be more than happy to share that with you guys. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. Having a really good pump and especially one if you have um, other kids, one that is silent, one that is wearable is definitely life-changing and such a game changer. But when you are breastfeeding and you are pumping, you definitely need to have something to store your milk in to be able to put it in the freezer or into the fridge. And the bags that I ended up really loving are the Medela breast milk storage bags. These are such an essential if you guys are breastfeeding. All right, guys, those are my top feeding essentials for newborns in those first three months of life. And honestly, a lot of these products are great even after those first three months. So don't think that you have to stop using these at the three month mark. We are still actively using pretty much all of these except for a lot of the breastfeeding products. If you're watching this and you are expecting congratulations, I really hope that this helps you to build your registry and to add some products for feeding to your registry. And if you are not currently expecting, but you do have a baby and you are looking for something to get your newborn, or if you're looking for feeding products that could work for you, I really do hope that you find something that you were excited to try and order for yourself in this video. Also, before you leave, don't forget to go to the comment section and let me know what your feeding essentials are and what you guys love to use. Or if you have built a registry or are currently building a registry, what are some things that you have put on there that you can't wait to try? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the other videos that I'll be uploading in this newborn essential series that I'm going to be posting here on my channel. So with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.